FUBAR 2000 is really a great music player for your PC. It doesn't use much memory and sounds excellent. FUBAR 2000 can be simple to use or it can be used for very complicated music processes. In this video, we'll go over how FUBAR 2000 can be used as your music player without being too complicated or overwhelming. Hi, Dennis Ray here. My wife said, stop making YouTube videos or I'm divorcing you and taking everything. So here I am, living in a van down by the river, making videos. Please like and comment below. Subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of new videos. Thank you. Let's look at the interface for FUBAR 2000. There's the menu and we'll take a look at that in a minute and standard controls stop play pause previous song next song random visualization spectrum the volume control this bar shows you the progress of the song that's playing below that new playlist playing artist album track number title track artist duration or how long the song actually is and the very bottom is the status of the song. Now let's go back to the menu. Under File, we have Open. And when you open a track, it will immediately start playing by itself. And then Open Audio CD, Add Files. And when you add files, they don't start playing until you actually hit Play. And then Add Folder, Add Location, New playlist, when you hit this, it makes a new tab in the window. If you want to start a new playlist, remove that. Load a playlist. If you have a saved or saved playlist, you can load it this way. And if you have a number of tracks that you want to save as a playlist, you can use this. Preferences. Um, We'll look at this in a little while after we get through the menu and exit. Then there's edit, and these are all pretty well self-explanatory, so we don't need to go through these right now. Then there is view, and uh, this always on top. Make sure that FUBAR 2000's window is always on the top of any other windows or apps that you may have open. Visualizations, um, you know, this is best if I just show you what each one of these do with a track. And I have this uh, track on the window right now. I got this from YouTube's own audio library, so no copyright violations here. No, sir. Okay, that was kind of cool. So back to view, DSP, where you can open up a equalizer, make your adjustments there, enable it. Uh, console, that's kind of a, a log of everything you've done with FUBAR 2000. Playlist manager, self-explanatory, layout, quick setup, where you can Change the look. Go back. Well, you get the idea there. Go back to what we had. Colors. And uh, by default, your window will normally be white. I had changed it to black, but you can change it different colors. I like black. There's a long list of different colors you can change it to. Playlist layout. Okay. Then there is some other things that 
uh, are actually a bit more complicated and beyond the scope of this video. Create scratch box. Yeah, like I said, that's beyond the scope of this video. It is actually a way to try out different themes without changing the current layout, but we're not going to go into that. Cut, copy, paste, and that is view. Next is playback. And uh, in this, it has some of those same controls as on the interface. And order, and oh, one I should mention one more thing. The difference between random and shuffle. Uh, in random, when it's playing, it could play the same track more than once. In shuffle, it won't. And these are all pretty well self-explanatory. Stop after current. Yeah, okay. Playback follows cursor, and cursor follows playback. Now we're getting into the realm of complicated. These have to do with finding and or playing a certain track in a playlist. Not within the scope of this video because we want KISS. K-I-S. Keep it simple. Next item on the menu is library. In this there's album list, which is actually a list of all your music in a particular folder that you decide you want it to look in. Um, you can change the order by changing these by album, by artist, and so forth. And you can filter it by the format. Uh, like, like put in mp3 and it will just find the mp3 tracks. Then there is search. Uh, and this, if you're looking for a particular track or a particular album, uh, say if I want to find the Beatles. And there we go. And there's configure. This takes us to uh, into the preferences window, media library, music folders, and this where you can tell it what folder to look in uh, just by adding or by removing and changing your mind and putting a different folder in. Then there is help and all these items in here are pretty well self-explanatory but uh, frequently asked questions is a really nice resource for you that will take you to FUBAR's website with a treasure drove of knowledge about FUBAR. Now let's look at preferences. Um, in the preferences there is a huge amount of settings. Most are fairly straightforward or they can be left at their default settings too. On uh, components, well there's a list of components that are already installed. Or you can click on this link that will take you to FUBAR's website where there's an incredible amount of components that you can install. <clears throat> Display, uh, this is easy to take a look at and add any of these if you want to. Keyboard shortcuts, media library, well we saw that before. Networking can be left on the default setting. Playback. Now, and this is one of the best features of FUBAR is replay gain, uh, which is a way of normalizing or making all the music play at the same volume. And uh, one way of adding replay gain to the tracks is with a free program called WXMP3 Gain. Now, I did a video about that not long ago, and I'll put a link in the description for that. And uh, this is a source mode where you can select either not using replay gain at all or by track, album, playback, order. And like in all mine or uh, in the track 
component, so that's what I have selected. Processing, there again, none, apply gain, or these two have to do with clipping, which means, uh, in other words, another word for preventing distortion. And uh, replay gain uh, prevents distortion already, just having replay gain applied to it as well as normalizing. So really is no point in selecting these two. And I just use uh, apply gain selection. Preamp, you can leave this as the default setting. And the rest of it is pretty straightforward. And shell integration, tools, replay gain scanner, Leave that all on the default settings. <clears throat> Tagging, advanced. And you can look at those. Uh, there again, like I said, this is a video about using FUBAR to play music and keeping it simple. Kiss. But you can take a look at those on your own. So by now you're probably anxious to know where you can get FUBAR. I know I am. Uh, here's the website and I'll put a link for this in the description below. There are all these different tabs. In the overview tab there's the newest version of FUBAR and a link to download it. And uh, the download to download it the program is not very large so it doesn't take long at all to download. And once you have it, you can just double click on the install file and just follow the prompts and it uh, will install it for you. It does not install any add-on programs, only FUBAR. And down below there's main features, uh, supported audio formats. It supports a ton of different formats, so that's a really nice feature of FUBAR and some other nice features that it lists there. There's a tab for downloading it. Components, and I mentioned this before, uh, there's a list of all these different components that you can install to FUBAR. And then on the right side, I'll tell you exactly what each one of these do. screenshots, support, SDK, Download FUBAR 2000 Software Development Kit. Uh, I believe this is for coding FUBAR so you can make your own changes to the program. That was an overview of FUBAR 2000, a really great audio player for your PC. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and comment below. Subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of new videos. See you.